so we've installed WordPress and set up, installed and set up uh, WooCommerce. And now it's time to think about the appearance of our WooCommerce store. So this is what it looks like with this default um, theme at the moment. And the problem with this at the moment is that our theme isn't compatible with WooCommerce in that WooCommerce is a piece of software that is programmed in a certain way and our theme doesn't know how to communicate with that software effectively. So what we have are WooCommerce uh, themes, themes designed specifically to communicate, to work with the WooCommerce plugin. And we can get some of these themes from the WooCommerce website by going to WooCommerce.com, the theme store, all themes. And you'll notice that some of these themes are paid themes, um, but they do offer a free theme. So I click there and it's called storefront. So what we have is the main storefront um, theme and we have these child themes. So if you wanted to install these child themes, you'd need to first install the storefront theme and then install the, the child theme. So it, these child themes need information uh, from the storefront theme to work effectively. So we're gonna ignore these for now and we're just going to install, install storefront. So I click on that and it takes me to this page here. Um, and I go down and it says get WooCommerce storefront. So I click on that and you'll notice it takes me to this checkout page and you can see that it's free. I can press continue. And it was gonna ask me for some details here. So you'll need to uh, log in to access this theme. Okay, so once you've logged back in, uh, or once you've signed up, um, you'll be presented with this screen here. You press purchase, and that's then gonna give you a link. Hopefully. And then we can download the uh, theme. Okay, so I click on download and we can download the theme. Okay, so now we've got the theme. I'm gonna close this, because we don't need this anymore. Um, so now we need to know how to actually install this theme. So going back to my XAMPP folder in my C drive, so the C drive, uh, so this PC, C drive, XAMPP, because I've installed XAMPP. So I go into my root directory, and then I got to go in content, and this time instead of plugins, I select themes. So this is where my theme needs to be. So I'm just going to drag this theme or copy paste this theme across. If you don't want to do that, obviously, <coughs> you just need to go to the, the download folder. And I'm going to copy that and go back here. And then I'm just going to extract this in that folder. So I've extracted the theme in the themes folder. And I'm going to delete that. Now, what I want to do is just because um, that's possibly one folder too deep. What I need to do is go back to the root, click in, I'm going to press Control and X, and then I'm going to put it right here, and then delete this folder, because it's one folder too deep, possibly. So here's my theme um, that I've just downloaded. So now that's in place, if I go back to my dashboard, I go to Appearance, and what we should see now is is this right here. This is the storefront theme I've just downloaded. So I press activate there and that should activate and it says design your store. So I press let's go. So this is gonna um, allow me to do some basic setup of my theme. So at the moment it looks like this. Let's go to home. There we go. So th what's happened here, this is the um, customize um, customize page. I'll skip that. This is the customization page, uh, the, the the area where I can customize some of the basic settings of my theme. I'll show you where that is in a second. But from here, what's happened is that by clicking on that button, it's taken me to this page, and it's already pre-configured what you see in front of you here. So this is a pre-configured um, uh, uh, design that it's created for me. So what I can do now is if I just press publish. 
you'll see that this now is applied to my website. So that now this is what it looks like. So um, let's just get this bar out of the way if you haven't already done so. So I'm gonna go back to my um, admin panel where I was just and close that to take me back to the dashboard. And I'm just gonna get rid of that bar. So I'm gonna go into edit in admin and get rid of that and press in update profile. So that's gonna get rid of this bar up top here. There we go. So this is what we're now seeing. So we've now installed the theme uh, ready now to configure um, further. So to just click on dashboard so we know where we are. Um, so if I go back to appearance and go to customize, that's gonna take me back to where I just was. Um, and from here, I can go through this list here and configure some of the basic setups for my website. So this is some pre-configured or predefined settings for this theme that I can configure. So just go through this one by one uh, to configure some of the settings. So in the site identity, I can change the name of my website. I can add a logo if I wanted to. I can add a different tagline here. Socks, that's, that's all. Socks only, how about that? Um, socks only. And there we go. So I can publish that and that will apply directly to my website. So if I go back one, I can look at the header. The header. Uh, this is going to give me some options to change this section right here. So I can change the background color. Now, because I did that, obviously I need to change the text to make it lighter. So it allows me to do that. There we go. So I can do that there. And as long as I press publish, it will be applied and I can then refresh the page on my actual web page and you can see it's actually happened so I can do the same thing for the footer and then there's a background so I can change the color of the background here I've got some typography some uh, text font options button colors layout there's two different layouts I can use for this website um, that's predefined so I can add some custom menus if I want to, widgets are basically pieces of software which I can add on to a page to add new functionality to the page. Um, home page settings, uh, I can change the home page uh, options. Uh, WooCommerce options, so there's uh, features here to configure some of the different pages and how that displays information and so on. So it's just a case of reading through these options and these are the only real options for you to change um, the theme at this point. What we'll be interested in, what we will be interested in doing in the next couple of videos is configuring this further using CSS. Now down here there is an option for additional CSS so if you're not happy with some of these font sizes or the colors that are, op that are available we can add some custom CSS here to change things further. So that's one area where we can add code if we want to in this theme. So let me just show you another area where we can add code. So if I go to appearance and go to theme editor, that takes me to a view where I can actually change the code um, for my theme. And if I go to the style page, here is the style page for my theme. And I can go into here and I can remove some of the options or add options. So this is a very powerful area. Now, some security, uh, there, are, there are some um, websites and literature w which would tell you to turn this option off, particularly if you've got a live website, because if someone gets into your website, they now have access to your code. Um, so this can be important to turn off. Obviously, we're just using this locally. Uh, and I'm not recommending you to use this. I just wanted to show that this was available and now you know that um, potentially to turn this feature off if you're using your website live. So that's another area where we can configure um, this theme if we wanted to. So in short, what we've done here is we've downloaded the WooCommerce uh, storefront theme. We've had a look at some of the cu default customization areas and we've set up um, the default uh, theme options here to produce this page here. Um, this is my product. Takes me into the product area. So in the next couple of videos, 
uh, in this series. I want to go through how to customize this further. Uh, we're going to create some custom CSS to maybe change some of these um, distances uh, and maybe the look at the different font types we could utilize uh, to make this look even better.